Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let that they get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Salute to my gang. Showtime SP and all that too. Yo. ARP. There are a couple things in life that are guaranteed. Death, taxes, and Sue Surf and ARP going back and forth, having these verbal wars. You know, they should battle on verbal war zone. Maybe that maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll help it out if they battle on verbal war zone. Bruh, so after yesterday, with the whole Jag situation, shout out to everybody that watched the Jag blog and all of that. Um, it's more. It's just not a, it's more stuff that's coming out. And I did, I promise you guys, when I first, first saw and heard about this situation, I thought it would be, you know, a couple things and then that'd be the end of it. This joint is getting uglier than bowling shoes, man. Um, so Jag says he was only going to be paid $3,000 for the ill, um, the, the, the Arsenal battle. Now, I got so many issues with that, but... At the end of the day, somebody told me, like, yo, Vada, he agreed to and signed that contract. Even People are going to pay you what you signed for. Like, you can't really trip. I think it's nasty work for a main event on a card versus Arsenal to only be getting paid 3000 I don't know if that's true. Allegedly. We're going to put a lot of allegedly's in this. Jag allegedly was offered $3,000. Um... Rosenberg Raw even went out there and said it too. I seen the, um, he was interviewing with Caps, but I seen it off OTMZ. Salute to all of them and everything that they do. Rosenberg Raw says Jag got 3K for Arsenal with an $800 deposit. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be very, very hard to keep niggas loyal to an $800 deposit. Like, I wouldn't even battle for an $800 deposit. And I'm not a battle rapper, but I would not battle for $3,000 or $800 deposit. Shit, as soon as somebody come with $3,500, they out the door, ARP, I know he died versus ill will, but a $3,000 deposit, my nigga. Golly, I know it ain't hurting like that around there. God, that's chicken nuggets. That's a chicken nugget shit. That's why Sue Surf calls it KFC. So Surf said 3K for a main event. Wow, KFC. I expect more from my Uncle Adam. They go back and forth with each other. They talk trash to each other all the time. And um, I have, like... Or a bunch of screenshots. So ARP says, hey, Sue Sir, don't throw rocks, then hide your hand. You know Unc ARP ain't raise you like that. Can we talk about today's financial allegations toward you and RBE? Or are you good for the moment? So Sue Surf, um, there's a lot of word coming out, people saying that. Uh, guy, my man Swaggy C, you know what I mean? That's his name. He used to be Battle Rap Slave. Uh, he used to battle rap. He used to do blogs and things like that, too. A lot of people know him throughout the battle rap culture. But uh, he went on to become Swaggy C. He was on Big Brother. He's made millions in investing, you know, doing things the right way, coming up. Like, he's very, very known in that world. And that man's made millions of dollars. Not like the, the not real. He's a real, like, the, the boy got his own money, right? And he came from the battle rap culture. And... You know, he's one of the few that, that did something really big for himself. But, you know, Battle Rap doesn't really celebrate him like that. You know what I mean? Like, he should be. He's, done, he's made very well for himself. And if you know him, you know what I'm talking about. Somebody be on Big Brother show. That's amazing. So, he, he wanted to... He, uh, allegedly. There's a lot of allegedly going on to get to where I need to go. So, allegedly, he reached out to Surf to be on an intro... And he, he gave him six bands to do it, allegedly. And he never got his intro. Like, he never got his intro. Uh, and he, from the messages that they putting out there, is that he hit him up and was like, yo, uh, forget about it. We just going to go with what we got. Can I get my bread back? Nigga ain't get his bread back. And he ain't get no intro. Nasty work. So when Surf says this about ARP and the $3,000 deposit, you know ARP is going to come, right? He, yo. He's catching bodies. Like, he belongs on the first 48. He killed somebody yesterday. He come back to kill another nigga today. This shit crazy. So, ARP tells him, yo, 
You want to talk about your financial situations or you want to talk about RBE's financial situations, right? So then um, he goes on to say, Surf going to be to Surf going to be in spaces tomorrow complaining. Everyone talking about me, look in the mirror, nephew. Uh, Cause you know, Surf do do that. Like he will go on these rants where he tries to turn, uh, you know, either battle rappers or fans against the media. He's like, oh, the media, they only make up, they only talk about the negative, they only talk about the drama. Skrrr! We can't do that, not with me. I recap two Midnight Madness battles, the Lou Castro versus Big T and Snake Eyes versus none none. So I'm qualified to talk. I was gonna talk about whatever I want anyway, but I'm qualified. Vodafly is qualified to modify the dramatized. I can talk about this shit because I cover your battles too. You know what I'm saying? I do it all. This is every all encompass, my nigga. So um ARP says surf gonna be in the spaces tomorrow complaining, everybody talking about me. Look in the mirror, nephew saying nigga, this is what you want. This is what you get, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you want the attention, you get the attention, good and bad. Uh, ARP says, that that man, that young man hopefully will seize money dealings based on base shots. We don't want to discuss all this scam god activity in full detail now, do we? Good night, nephew, saying we don't want to discuss you scamming out your fans, That it, like, good night. And, um... Like, he, he, like, this is what ARP does. He says, uh, he goes on to say, Nephew normally at least attempts to finish what he starts, but guess he's too busy tonight getting to another 6K bag. I figured he'd have time to build with Unk today since he had some curious tweets earlier. Well, maybe next time we can get to the bottom of this. P.S. Leave Unk alone. Saying like, yo, He's out there trying to get to another $6,000 from a helpless fan. Like I said, at the end of the day, this is all allegedly. I can't guarantee it's happening or not, but I did see what homie was saying and was like, he's a millionaire. Surf is getting 50 a battle. I'm getting 50 a battle. I know damn well. It's got to be. This got to be a misunderstanding. It's got to be. This shit gotta be a misunderstanding. Cause I know damn well, you don't think that's good. I'm getting 50 a clip. I got 50 for my last three. Ain't no way. And Sun was a fan too. Like he's really a fan though. Like he really fuck with the battle rap shit. He was doing blogs at one time. Like he really is a fan of battle rap. And I heard the hurt in his voice when he was saying like, I can't support him no more. This nigga had pictures in the nigga clothes, raw bunch clothes. Yo, he gotta straighten that out. Like he gotta straighten that out. And if it was any other artist, it'd be the same way. If it was Hitman, if it was uh, Goods, if it was Verb, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all niggas be like, oh, he, this person, buy. I ain't biased on this because I ain't buying this at all. Um, but with ARP, like, he literally, if he's going to go all out for his business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Surf calls it KFC. That's what he's been calling it for a while, you know. But there's a lot of battle rappers that are over there supporting Rare Breed Entertainment and what they do because niggas make money with them or make money off of them. You know what I'm saying? One of the fans in the comments said, you scam a millionaire for 6K, but that talk about 50K this and 50K that. I guess I don't understand business. I'm lost right now. Calico was right all this time. Gwitty is paper. Salute to Gwitty and everything that he got going on. He battled Big Cannon on the uh, Let's Get Straight To It card. Uh, he said, nah, Sue Surf loves the attention. It makes his day. He gonna be in the spaces looking in the mirror and twisting the story about how the 6K was not refundable. <laughs> he said he gonna be in his day. You know, them niggas that be in them spaces, bro. I never be in there. Them niggas be in there all day. I don't know how they got that kind of time on their hands, but these niggas be in there for eight hours, six hours, 12 hours. They be in there like all day long, all night. Salute to the niggas who got time for that shit. I don't. Um, then ARP says he picked the wrong day to speak on financial dealings. Like he was, he picked the wrong day to talk about money. Because karma spun the block before he could even get through the first eight hours of the day by speaking on uh, Jag allegedly. This is all alleged. This is allegedly getting offered $3,000 to battle on RBE. Um, I thought... Like, okay, so Jag did get, get smoked, you know what I'm saying? We Jag got bodied by ill will. That's not even debatable. We're going to separate the fiction from the facts. The fact is he got bodied by ill will. 3-0 wasn't even close. Got him out of there. ARP put Jag back. And this is all, 
Jag, this is you. You are the reason for these shots being thrown. This is what I'm saying. Like, you got, instead of helping put the fire out, this is what I was talking about with the analogy that you set the man house on fire and walk out the door. Because now he's got to put out all of these little fires that come his way because you no-show to the battle. I mean, now I see you saying it was only $3,000. I mean, shit, that's not even rent in some places. That's not mortgage in some places. That You can't even pay all your bills with $3,000. So when the nigga say he had life-changing money, the nigga might have got $3,500. And that was life-changing money for $3,000, bro. Like, um... What I was going to say is, yeah, so ARP, he going to defend his house, like, period. That's just the way it goes. Um, Surf is a pseudo mouthpiece for URL. Like, he do all the dirty work. That's the dirt that he does the dirty work. He don't even realize that he do the dirty work, but, you know, when shit needs to be talked, they not going to talk shit. They not about to jump on social media. These niggas, like, smack beat. They not about to jump on social media and start talking crazy about Ray Ray. It'll never happen. Never. It will never happen. But they got niggas that got a lot of a lot of notoriety and name to them when they do it it don't hit as hard as if they would have did it but it still hits at a high level but ARP knows the the route and the way to go to talk shit back like he talks shit back and it catches steam people talk about it it causes it causes action and friction so uh like <laughs> I as a fan I don't know, like, if this were what allegedly happened is true, that's kind of crazy that somebody reached out to one of their favorite artists and he liked him a lot. He used to write him in jail and some more shit. And to reach out to your favorite artist to get some promo done and the person take your bag and never send you the promo, like, that's that's the shit. This is the type of shit that Goods be talking about. That's a bad angle to have out there. If it's not, if it's true, it's a horrible angle to have out there because... The, a lot of the other shit that people used to talk about and all the other shit, that's, that, that was, it was what it was. But an angle like that, like you're talking about getting all this money, but you owe, like, that's not a good angle to have out there. Um, and if you was there, be potentially heading into a battle with goods, phew, he'll rap about that shit. He'll probably bring that nigga out. <laughs> he fucking rap. <laughs> Yo, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill, man. Oh. Uh, Y'all know I fuck with Surf. Y'all know I fuck with Goods. I fuck with Swaggy C too, though. Like, he's good people. Like, he, I really... It's very, very rare that you see somebody come up to the level that he's came up to. Like, this dude is really doing it big. And a lot of people nowadays don't ever get to do it like that. How many people in life... You may make a million dollars in life over the span of your life. Not at one time. Well, not that I have a million dollars that I can show and tell. Ain't a lot of motherfuckers out there that's getting it like that. And so the very few people that are, you got to respect their grind. And I don't know if he, I don't know if, if they, allegedly, the only reason why I would think that a nigga would not give a nigga what they paid for is because he probably thinks like, yo, he's such a fan or he got so much money, he ain't going to say nothing. Or if he do say something, it ain't going to get out there that much because the nigga ain't really got a battle rap platform. You know what I'm saying? Like if I give, I, I can never see that shit happen. But if I gave him $6,000 to do something for me and he didn't do it, I don't have to get gangster. I just have to cut my camera on and it's, it's going to be, it's, it's going to get seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it, that type of shit ain't going to happen. Not with me because the way I'm going I'm to I'm give you what you ordered off the menu and I'm going to talk about this shit so much I'm going to make my money back by just talking shit because I'm not going to stop until I get my bread back. But, um... I do feel like, cause even if you got millions, six thousand is still a lot of money. You could do a lot of shit with that. Um, but ARP, that's how he plays. Like ARP, he plays like that. Like when you bring smoke, he brings back smoke. I kind of waited. Like when I saw this, I saw it, and I was like, okay, this is a topic to talk about. But I, uh, I just waited. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just wait because they're gonna keep going back and forth. And then when they stop talking shit to each other, then I'll go ahead and shoot the blog. But nigga, like, you, you, this ain't what, this ain't it. Like, this is not it. Like, you cannot just think that uh, ARP is not going to fire back because I guarantee you he will. Every motherfucking time. When you niggas get in line, ARP do realignments. And there's, there's a few things that's, that's guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and ARP trying to smoke a nigga that's trying to play with his brand. Those three things are guaranteed. It's never going to change. Y'all niggas gonna stop that bullshit. Um, 
Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. <laughs> I'm out, man. Gang, gang.